World Cup retail strategies, cracking the US soccer audience, and brand messaging to get fans excited. That and more on today's episode. Want to know what's next? For over two decades, we've led the world's most influential brands to create the right products at the right time for tomorrow's consumer. This is WGSN's Client Questions Answered. Hello, and welcome to the show where our experts from around the globe unpack your biggest challenges. Now, in just a few weeks, the 2022 FIFA World Cup will kick off in Qatar, and we couldn't think of a better topic to explore. I'm Carla Bazashi, President and CEO at WGSN. Let's get started. Our first question comes from a client asking, what product categories have the biggest opportunities around the World Cup? Let's hear from Joe McDonnell, our Director of Insight, based in London. Over to Joe now. There are so many opportunities for brands around the World Cup. Firstly, this is the first World Cup ever to happen outside the summer cycle. So there's huge opportunity around Christmas gifting. Obviously, jerseys for kids or for bigger kids, um, but also football and sport equipment in general is going to see a huge uplift. Equally, the food and drink opportunity is massive. People already gather together around the World Cup, but on top of that, it's also Christmas. So already lots of people were planning Christmas parties and family get-togethers. Alcohol as a category always sees a big uplift around the World Cup. But one of the things we've been tracking on WGSN for a while is the growth of no and low alcohol variants. And really we're seeing a lot more consumers move towards this, especially around the excesses of Christmas and the season in general. Um, It will be interesting to see how, how brands position themselves around that. The other thing for tech companies is around home entertainment systems. This always sees an uplift pre-World Cup um, around messaging about you know, getting people together and watching the football on a big screen, but really messaging around home improvement as an investment for consumers and really tapping on restorative nesting is gonna emerge a lot more. Spending time at home is a way for consumers to save money in the long run. And really this winter season is gonna be dominated by cost of living and it's a World Cup set against that backdrop. Amazing. Thank you, Joe. We have a great report on sports retail strategies on WGSN Insight, including prioritising wellness and in-store digital enhancements. Our next question comes from a client asking, malls and retailers in my country closed during the FIFA World Cup. How big of an effect will this have on sales? And how can I use the festivities to our advantage? A really great question. Let's pass this one over to Hayne Lima, our customer experience and trend strategist based in Sao Paulo. The World Cup is definitely going to divert some of the attention from the holiday season this year, and it's just one of the reasons why this season is going to be different. Especially with the cost of living crisis, we advise to start the season earlier, make tailored promos visible and communicate value for your customers. Also, remember to create a seamless shopping experience on multiple channels, including WhatsApp. If your country is big on soccer and retail operates in less hours during the games, plan ahead and strategize how to bring people to your store with activations perfect for the fan economy, while making sure you can go to them at any time. Great stuff. Thank you, Hayne. Our next question comes from a client asking, every World Cup we hear this is going to be the year football cracks America. What's your perspective of soccer in the US? For this, we're heading to Quentin Humphrey, our creative strategist based in New York. Let's hear from him now. Football is by far the most popular sport in the world, and the United States is the biggest growth market for the sport. It's also the fastest growing major team sport in the US, with fan base numbers doubling over the past decade and growing much faster than American football, baseball, and even basketball. But even though interest in the sport is growing stateside, and the 2022 World Cup will certainly play a role in boosting the sport's viewership, football still has a ways to go before it finally breaks through at mass in the US. Major League Soccer, the men's professional football league in the US, continues to expand year after year, but it's not close in popularity compared to other sports. According to a survey from Sports Betting, the NFL is the most popular sports competition in the United States, followed by the MLB, NBA, NHL, and fifth place is the MLS. So in short, football will continue to grow in popularity and participation, but competition from more established leagues and amateur associations will keep the sport at bay for some time. Amazing. Thank you, Quentin, for that insight. Our final question for today comes from a client asking, 
With so much advertising spend happening, what messaging are brands using to get fans excited? Giving us their take on this topic is Melanie Larson, our insight strategist based in London. Well, the 2022 FIFA World Cup is now less than a month away and we'll see 32 nations come together to compete on the largest stage in sport. In fact, it's projected that 5 billion people across the world will tune in to watch the tournament, providing advertisers with ample opportunity to reach fans. An estimated £115 million in additional advertising revenue is set to hit Q4 2022, largely fueled by World Cup activations and sponsorships. Brands are tapping into themes such as hope, positivity and togetherness to get fans excited about the upcoming tournament. They are also enlisting well-known football players such as Messi, as well as TikTok creators such as Kamilame to connect with fans globally. Brilliant. Thank you, Melanie. That's it for this week. If you have any questions or comments that you'd like answered, please pop them in the comments box for our team. I'm Carla Bazashi, and I'll see you next time.